Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with the colleagues here. Dave. Nate. And uh, today we have another edition of Mage Forge, and we're going to talk brilliant energy weapon. What do you guys think? Well, first off, I think we have to give a little bit of uh, some backstory here, some history maybe. Some history. So brilliant energy weapons first appeared in third edition. And basically it was like a descriptor you can put on almost any weapon that was had a blade, I think. Mm -hmm. What was kind of the deal? It was a uh, slashing or uh, slashing or piercing weapon, wasn't it? Was it? I, I believe, yeah, slashing or piercing weapon. Generally, uh, no bludgeoning weapons, and, and basically, it just basically, you know, there there was a couple effects. One of which was it would go through inorganic material. So if you cut someone with a brilliant blade sword, it would ignore their armor. Right. Uh, so that was one of the cool things. But then again, it was also useless against something that wasn't alive. Right. Uh, or made of organic material, so that there, you know, there was a couple things from third edition about that. But actually, I want to say that's not my earliest exposure to a brilliant energy weapon uh, from D and D. I mean, there's the non D and D <laughs> version of the brilliant energy weapon, the lightsaber, the lightsaber, <laughs> the laser sword, <laughs> the laser sword. Yeah, Thunder the Barbarian too. He used, I think, he used the laser sword. Yeah, he did. Uh, and then there's the lightsaber, but the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. The the ranger used the, used the uh, used the longbow, and you know there was there wasn't even a string, but when he would pull it back, he'd shoot the energy arrows. Mm -hmm. Yes, I kind of want to make that. I think that's pretty awesome. We could so, make that. Score! What do you guys think? Should we make that? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say no. <laughs> All, right. All right, right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna delve back through the depths of the Dungeons and Dragons history. So so okay, every time we make something on here, it's kind of unique ish. Right, so, mm -hmm. but this time we're gonna we're just gonna kind of construct something that was already done. So it's a long bow. Doesn't and have to be a long bow. Would you would you rather a short bow? I kind of like the idea of it just being a handle, and you just it makes whatever you want it to make. So the long bow would I mean you wouldn't obviously hit them with a the long bow, but it has some kind of like structure to it. So like the long bow springs out, and then you could just fire hours. You like pull from the handle and boom. Well, you could do that. I mean, so specifically, it's it is a longbow. It's just that the only thing tangible is basically the grip. Yes. So you, you, you so basically you're standing there, pointing your fist at someone, and they're like, "What are you gonna do?" And then as soon as you as soon as you reach and grab, the the the, yeah, the bow springs into life as you bring it back. You know the the uh, the string uh, appears, and the, and the more you bring it back, the more of an arrow there is. Yeah. To your least, you know, basically the energy arrows. So, and um, I'm going to say with fifth edition, you know, the, we we only have one example of an energy type weapon, and that's the sunblade. And that's the sunblade. And you know, instead of trying to make a uh, create new mechanics or anything, I was I would just say, you know, with our brilliant energy uh, longbow, now it shoots. You know, they in every way they act like normal arrows, except for they're made of what kind of energy. Right, so we 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 could pick one. It could be necro, it could be necromantic, or necrotic, necrotic, radiant. Do radiant. we want to have it do an elemental energy damage? Um, you know, or does it generally just, you know, is it like a magic missile? It could it, also right? just it be just force. force. It could actually just be force. So so we should pick one. Oh, I I think I'd like to take it away from the sunblade in that regards and have it be. You know, derived off of magic missile, and it just creates magic force. So it, it essentially does, you know, magic damage, magic bludgeoning damage, force damage, force damage, force damage. Opinions. I really like the idea of shooting radiant holes through zombies, though. <laughs> Can't get the image out of my mind. Well, I mean, it's you know <clears throat> whether you want to, you know, if you want to mirror it off the sunblade, it does radiant damage and does an additional D eight radiant damage. Um, just like the the sunblade when it hits on dead, um, you know, or you know, we have it be well, yeah, or you could just make it radiant damage. It just does the normal weapon damage. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like the sunblade. I mean, because I think I I think radiant is probably the closest for the brilliant the brilliant energy weapons from previous editions. Anyway, yeah. But that being said, you know, like you could spurs it up with a. Hey, you know, it could be fire instead, or it could be. You know, maybe you know it's a kind of a, a darker, 
uh, match code, and it's necrotic, you know. So really, it's a, it's uh, it's just a matter of, um, you know, basically our preference at this point. All right. Well, so, you know, you want it to be radiant. Yeah, I think I like radiant. What What do you like? Well, the radiant works for me as well. All right, so we'll go. With I, the, I would either go radiant or necrotic, to be honest with you. Well, do we want to? Do we want to make necro bolts? Do, do we? We wanna... can have a crossbow that does the necrotic. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the hand crossbow of necrotic. Yeah, I, you know, I say, you know, why, why not go? You know, we haven't done a, a dark magic item really. You know, we we had a dark thing that created a goodly magic item. That's because dark is evil and bad. Well, dark. Dark, evil, bad things make magic items too. So why don't we make the necro? Yeah, then we the break necro arrow. All right, so now you, you've been voted down by, <laughs> by Ted. You've been voted down by Ted. I'm an innocent bystander. So you know the 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 necro bow, uh, you know it, it shoots necrotic damage. Um, so it's the kind of the opposite to the sunblade. So okay, now here's an idea. All right, so there's this lich. Or it could be a death knight, whatever you want it to be. And he has a servant who is basically maybe his assassin. Mm, okay. Right? And this fellow is an archer. You know, that's his preferred method of killing. So he constructs this this dark weapon that you know that fires necrotic energy at at a, at his foes. I see the 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 handle that you that you hold is totally just like a um, carved from bone or car something. Carved from a black bone of, of some, you know, long dead uh, creature. Like yeah, it's burnt, polished burnt and bone. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the like the race itself is is done. Ooh. Oh, the last bone of the last living member of that race. Yeah, that's kind of dark. Yeah, maybe the death knight even did in the uh, the last few members of that race just to make this item. Uh, I wouldn't say just to make this item. I think he just did it. <laughs> no, that's, no, how, that's how no, he, got he slew the whole entire race just to make. That's this how item. he got. That's how he got his uh, death knight status. The the last bone of the race was just a throw. Oh, maybe <laughs> that would actually that would be very interesting if the story that kind of like unmade him is is also where this thing came from, and he's he's always like kept it as a memento, and he's finally found the use for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the, you know the combination of. I don't know, having a death knight hold on to something for a couple centuries. Yeah. And uh, you know, the 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 dark uh ending that the race came to. Yeah, for four inch this thing without uh without much uh all right, so, input from the death knight. <clears throat> so he, he he calls forth, you know, dark energy from his dark nexus of power to you know bestow a Blackity black. <laughs> Dark, you know, Purpose. The, <laughs> he, he makes he makes this bow uh, for for his his assassin minion. Um, what is the what what is the stats on this thing? Is it you know just the? Uh, well, I mean, the sunblade is a plus two weapon, pretty much, and so, it does D eight. And I'm like, well, that's really similar to what a longbow would do, right? So, do we? Is it? A, is this a? Is this a plus two? You know, uh, is a plus two weapon? Well, are we saying it's the only one? Oh, absolutely. Plus three. All okay. right. Plus three legendary item. Uh, you know, its primary power is, you know, the fact that it fires these bolts. Um, Ooh, how about this? As an added effect. Are you going to go arrow slaying? No, I wasn't going to go quite that. <laughs> I wasn't going to go quite that dark, but like... If you resist necrotic damage, this ignores your resistance. Hmm. Yeah, that's the, like, well, the, I mean, like the death domain. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you you totally just like, yeah, forget that. This is so dark, I can still, you know, get my full effect. It does double damage against you if you if you have necrotic resistance. <laughs> <laughs> if you're immune to necrotic, quadruple. Quadruple. <laughs> So yeah, by you know, bypasses uh, necrotic resistance immunities. It is a plus three weapon. Um, trying to think if there's anything really cool you want to do with it. I mean, like you go to, like kind of similar to the oath bow. So or, I, I was lo looking at it as like like typically like you know when you've got you know manipulations of dark energy, you know you've got either temporary hit points or this or that. But since it's being propelled, you know it's not as easy to. Do a quote-unquote transfer. 
So is there any like unique twist that we we can you know put in there to have something that's you know makes this thing stand out? I mean, a plus three ranged weapon, you know, it does necrotic damage is is pretty awesome in and of itself, but I think it needs more. It needs more. It needs more. Well, could it, it possibly bounce. store up? Maybe you gain charges by slaying people, uh, and then the charges can be used for something like an arrow slay, or something of that of that nature. So, um, as opposed to uh, as opposed to charges, how about um, the the bow requires that you actually kill something over whatever the whatever the duration you want it hungers you know yeah it, it has it has a hunger if it if it's not you know if it's not slated it, it refuses to work for you for you know okay say if it's so you got to kill something once a week not not hard to do if you don't feed it it stops working for a week it stops working how do you feed it well, because it'll come, it'll come back. <laughs> Comes you know? back. It reboots. <laughs> um, well, it could be that it just loses the plus three and all the special effects, except it still does a necrotic uh, arrow. They you know, could lessen in power, kind of as a punishment in a way, or it could just be weaker. And and until it kills something, it's not going to gain that that plus three status back. Or you could just do a really like diabolical. Um work on it where it charms you oh to try and kill something yeah like after a week if you don't kill it if you don't feed it something it just, just it blatantly will try and charm you almost like a sentient weapon does mm, okay and but i think this thing shouldn't really have sentience. no 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 it, it, it doesn't but it you know it's just basically it's a compulsion a compulsion yeah. that says all right you haven't killed anything in a week make a saving throw or you kill the next thing you see and I was even thinking, what if once a week it forms an arrow? It can form an arrow of slaying. That, that was my next, my next thing as well. I was going to say once a and, week. And and here's the deal, right? If you fail that saving throw and you have not killed anything, the next thing you see, that's the arrow slaying it forms. Like it uses that ability automatically. Mm, yeah. If it hasn't used it already. Oh, that makes sense because it, it's trying to. It's, I'm hungry. I must kill something. It's yeah. trying to get fed. It's purely a weapon of murder. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, if you've got this black bone that, you know, springs forth this energy bow and energy arrow, you know, is it, um, you know, can we, can we go so far as to say that, you know, it produces, you know, the, the black components and then it actually dims the light around it yeah. i was actually thinking something like that like it's, a it's, shadow. it sucks in the, the sucks in the so light. that would like almost be like the feature yeah yeah. So you you basically you know since the sun blade creates light, this thing reduces it. It, it creates dim light around you yeah. that doesn't that does not affect the user. Correct. So you can see fine, but other things don't see you as well. So I like it work, that. It would work cool. really well for you know the assassin type character. You know, that supposedly this was specifically made for. So our rundown is it's a plus three longbow, produces an arrow slaying once a week, does necrotic damage. And if it doesn't kill one thing a week, minimum, it will uh, it will cast a compulsion on the user to kill the next living thing it sees. With its arrow slaying. If it's yeah, we we setting a DC or um we would just use whatever is in the um DMG for uh for um ma uh, sentient magic. Items. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we'd figure out what's appropriate from that. And we can just set it right from there. All right. Cool. Yeah, Probably think. around DC fifteen ish. That that was my because that's case hard, well. but it's not impossible to do. Right, moderate. No, it's oh, yeah, it's mo a, okay. Moderate. It, it, it's that, a, it's a, that's what's considered moderate. It, yeah. It's a moderate, and if you've got that character who's not proficient in wisdom and happens to have that eight wisdom, then it's an incredibly hard check. <laughs> You're going to probably kill the next living thing you see, <laughs> or at and least try. And run around this, <laughs> run around while you're trying, like, okay, where's the squirrel? But technically, but, but technically, if you're giving this one assassin who you know is probably going to be very perceptive, he's probably got a decent wisdom if he's not you know trained in wisdom. At least you know he's got yeah. a decent store score. Well, I would say it has to be a thing with a soul. Okay, cool. So, like a human or something like that. Yeah, some kind of sentient creature. I don't want to get Mr. Tech Fox started, but yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so we're saying sentience, 
probably like so an awakened shrub won't count probably not well maybe but you know <laughs> actually i think it actually would count because it's awakened it kind of kind of gets that you know okay so it, but it's living and, and and aware you know you're, you're, you're not you're not taking out a zombie no we'll not be happy with a zombie <laughs> well that doesn't really affect that doesn't meet the living requirement right. yeah now we're saying happy and sad or like you know compulsion but really it's not it's not a talking sentient item no it just it's basically it's it's almost like a pro computer program that only runs you know when this one condition is not met it runs the kill program right. it so, does. so i'm 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 still thinking more on here we've got we've got the dim light we've got lots of you know good good mechanical stuff um it sorry. needs a name it is not a real thing unless we name it yeah i'm still i'm still i'm 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 developing another another quirk that I want to I want to put on it, but I don't know how to. I don't quite feel like, I don't feel like it needs anything more. I mean, can you turn off the dim light? It only does. Well, I would say. Like, no. can you ever turn it off? Well, it only happens when you're firing. Yeah. Oh. So okay. if you just so if you're you have it, it, well, if you're holding it, that's fine. But if you go like this, as soon as you begin to draw, like it's almost like the light around you coalesces into form the bow and the arrow. Uh, okay. Is I think the idea me and Ted were thinking. That, that, that's where I'm. That's okay. Where I'm at. So when you when you are purposely drawing the bow, is when the light light dims. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we got the really bad quirk. We got an arrow sling. It's already a plus three weapon, which makes it legendary to begin with. It mm. doesn't alter the type of damage. It it's resist. You know, it, it bypasses resistance immunity to that damage. Yep. I think we're good. I think it. Okay. I think we just need to name this puppy and make it real. You got any suggestions? No, I don't. Oh, that don't have right. black in it. No, black's fine, or dark, or night, or uh, the hand of night. <laughs> I don't know. Soul leech, soul leech, soul leech. Mm. Like it leeches the soul out of you know his victims. I don't like leech. I think it's a little too slow for an arrow slaying. Okay, well, what do you got? Hmm. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we've come to an impasse. Let's see. So we can use like night, dark, black, uh, ebon, or ebony. Yeah. Sound Did it now? Uh, are we saying the Death Knight made this, or just it, being in his presence for so long made this? Uh, he, he made a combination. It. Okay, because I was thinking maybe a deity of slaughter or something kind of had a hand in this actually. Well, they about. could have. So, I mean, a, a death knight essentially is like a paladin. Yeah, anti paladin. So, <laughs> gift it with death knight abilities and yeah. immortality. So, <laughs> it, right. well, well, I'm, you know, I'm stuck on soul. I, I wanna, I want, I wanna use that somewhere, somewhere in this. Um, so, what about black soul? Black soul. I don't really, I don't really care for the soul part. Oh, killing me here. I was thinking about the dark deity of slaughter and murder or whatever hand i think that would be appropriate or knife and it's really a bow but you know <laughs> you like making those like alternate alternate names it's yeah. metaphoric oh <laughs> uh, what's our what's our god of slaughter i don't know <laughs> what, what what's he is neutrally do we like, i think uh, we're important. Who, who did we use for uh ulf because i think we're important him Stromgard was like our Stromgard was the god, uh, of the god of war. I don't, I only thought Krenchfer was the one that was coming over. And that was our hunter. Nah, we're I think we're gonna bring I, over a few. I think we might have to uh leave this as a mystery for right now. But Dark God of Ooh, Slaughters. What if we use Morganis in there? Morganis. Morganis is like the, the dark uh, you know hunter. Hunt, yeah. Yeah, you know, okay. Like beast Lord. Um, so you know, could, you know, is this is this Death Knight a Death Knight of Morganos? Um, well, it, he did hunt down an entire race. He Ooh, very yeah. well could be, and with with the Fey Pact or the Fey um, uh, Pack of the Ancients, mm -hmm. which is uh, like a Fey um, Paladin, mm -hmm. could definitely be oh, one the, of those. Both of the Ancients, yeah, yeah, yeah. both of the Ancients. So. All right, so we we can definitely go that route. So uh, you know. You know, would the, could this be you know the the hand of Morganas or the Fang? The Fang, the fang of Morganas. I, I I I can. A Morganas Fang. I mean, it's bone already. Yeah. It could even kind of be fang of the Night Beast. 
Ooh, Fang of the Night that. Beast. Fang of the Night Beast. I think. I sure. Think we, I think we got one. Nice. I like it. What do you guys think? You can let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and even share. You can uh, patronize us in a good way by uh, supporting our Patreon account. Let's enjoy the conversation over on Reddit. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.